short field takeoff with PMDG 737 can be a challenge if you don't know how to use the correct uh, tools. Some of you, if not the most, uh, will simply set uh, flaps 5, then start their takeoff with uh, full uh, thrust without taking in account the runway distance or length. Let's see what's gonna happen when you do so. You can see I'm about to reach the end of the runway and the takeoff speed is not reached yet. And you can see runway overrun just occurred, which probably gonna give me a crash. And here we go, full crash. Now I'm gonna share with you the method I use to prepare a successful short field takeoff. To make a successful short field takeoff for PMDG 737, we're gonna follow three steps, which I'm gonna show you in detail later on in this video. These three steps are as follow. First, I'm gonna show you how to add short field package option to your PMDG 737 aircraft. In the second step, I'm gonna show you how to use a free application for the takeoff performance calculations. And finally, I'm gonna show you the procedure we're gonna follow in order to increase the engine performance. And before I get started, please show your support to this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing. And as a reminder, this channel is all about flying with simulators. Before I give you an idea on what uh, the short field uh, package uh, does for the PMDG 737 aircraft, uh, let me first show you how to add this option to our aircraft. Go to the menu page if you are not there, then select PMDG setup, then aircraft, equipment, using next page key, step through the pages until you find short field package option as you can see here and we have two options yes or no and you can see it's by default set to no so i'm gonna swap the options from no to yes to activate the short field package or to add the short field package to our aircraft adding short field package uh, option will reconfigure the aircraft design generally speaking to improve both the short field takeoff and landing performance now i'm gonna show you how to use utopia version 1.3 application to complete the takeoff performance calculation and you can download this for free using the link below this video in the description box when you run this uh, application you'll get this window which is very simple and easy to use from the aircraft list drop menu i need first to select my desired aircraft for instance i'm gonna select pmdg 737 800 starting with the airfield data i'll put my uh, departure airport ico code which is for instance czbm my departure runway is 05 moving to weather data section i'll put the current temperature which is 15 degrees celsius the altimeter 29.92 decimal the wind is calm so i'm gonna put 052 slash 3 for the units i'll select uh, pounds for the engine any ice uh, if needed check this box finally i need to put the estimated takeoff weight here in this box to complete the inputs to see how this uh, utopia application is accurate and powerful i'm gonna try to find the maximum allowable takeoff weight that i'm gonna put on my aircraft for this takeoff to do so, I need first to find uh, or to know what's the maximum manufacturer takeoff weight for this aircraft. 
The easiest way to find that is by going to menu page, then selecting FS actions, then pay load. And you can see here MTW, which stands for maximum takeoff weight. For instance, it's 174,700 pounds. I'm gonna try 170,000 pounds and see if Utopia will accept this. Now to get the results I need to click on get takeoff performance data and you can see performance limited which means that I cannot conduct the takeoff with 170,000 pounds and I got the same thing with 160,000 pounds and 150,000 pounds. Now I'm gonna try 145,000 pounds here we go finally i got 145,000 pounds maximum takeoff weight for this flight with flaps 25 and maximum engine rating to move on uh, i have already set my uh, gross weight to 145,000 pounds as you can see here and my uh, perf init page is complete now i need to go to n1 limit page and select my N1 limit. And Utopia calculation requires maximum rate of thrust, which is 26,000 pound force. But I have another option, which I can use if I want to be in the safe side, which is TO-B. B stands for bump. So I'm gonna select this to bump up my engine's rating to 27K. N1 limit page is completed. Now I'm gonna move to takeoff page and I'm gonna put 25 degrees for the flaps as required by the Utopia takeoff performance calculation. And finally, I confirm my takeoff speeds to complete the takeoff page. In this uh, final step, we're gonna go to the overhead panel and configure our uh, bleed air system for no engine bleed setup. This procedure will simply disable the bleed air system from extracting the bleed energy from the engine thrust to preserve a maximum bleed energy for takeoff thrust. So to follow this uh, procedure, first make sure that your APU is running. We're gonna use uh, APU bleed air instead. Then on the bleed panel, we're gonna set the controls in the following order. Starting with the right pack switch set to auto, the isolation valve switch closed, left pack switch set to auto, engine one bleed switch select off, APU bleed switch select to on. Finally, the engine two bleed switch select off. All set for no engine bleed configuration. Now it's the appropriate time to conduct our short fill takeoff. I've already configured the aircraft for the takeoff. As you can see, my flaps are set to 25 degrees. Let's start the takeoff. And now you know how to make a successful uh, short field takeoff for PMDG 737. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.